Tatooine has two suns, so shouldn't everything on Tatooine have two shadows? Well, yes and no. To start, I thought it would be good to get some base parameters. In order to see how far apart the shadows should be, we need to know the difference in angle between the suns and the sky. The most iconic image of Tatooine's twin suns comes from this scene, which also happens to be a completely in-camera effect. That is, both suns are the same sun, filmed setting at different times and overlaid to create one image. It was shot in Tunisia on March 29th, 1976, but I wanted to know exactly what time it was shot so we could precisely measure the angle between the two sun positions. So I punched all the relevant data for the filming location of the Lars homestead into a sunlight simulation. Here I mocked up some rough geometry of the homestead in exactly the right places at 33 degrees 50 minutes and 24 seconds north and 7 degrees 46 minutes and 44 seconds east. The correct sun positions were found to be at roughly 640 and 643 p.m. The sun moves at about 0.5 25 degrees per minute, so the difference between the positions 3 minutes apart is about 0.75 degrees. Anyway, let's get some more data. What's another good shot of the Tatooine sun setting? Now this is really interesting. The suns are in different positions. I thought about this for a long time, and the answer that makes the most sense to me is that the Lars homestead is in Tatooine's northern hemisphere, and Jabba's palace is in the southern hemisphere. However, that completely invalidates this otherwise cool map from the Complete Locations book but it already has its problems. Old Ben lives out beyond the Dune Sea. Between Luke and Obi-Wan is the Junlin Wastes, not the Dune Sea. I'm going to assume that Luke knows a lot more about Tatooine geography than the illustrator of this map. Luke's word is more reliable in this case, so I'm not going to hold this map in very high regard. Back to the suns. If the Lars homestead is in the northern hemisphere and Jabba's palace is in the southern hemisphere, the sun setting at different angles makes perfect sense. There's roughly 80 degrees of difference between the orientation at Jabba's palace and the orientation at the Lars homestead. If we assume that these two locations are about 80 degrees apart on the globe, then this is exactly what we would see. The extra spacing between the suns also makes sense, understanding that Tattoo 1 and Tattoo 2, the sons of Tatooine, orbit one another as all binary stars should. This way, the spacing of the suns would be seasonal, or at least predictable in some regular way. Their positions in the sky would look something like this as viewed from the Lars homestead over the year. Of course, we have some other issues here. In this shot, the suns are setting about four times faster than in this shot. I'd love to hear your ideas about how that's possible. Did Tatooine's days get shorter between A New Hope and Return of the Jedi? Is it an optical illusion created by a thermal anomaly? I'm curious what your thoughts are. Also, we see similar sun positions in Attack of the Clones, which, given the concept that this is just how things look from different latitudes, that means Anakin travels a really far distance from the Lars homestead in his search for his mother. And now we can finally talk about shadows. The simple answer is that most of the time, objects on Tatooine would cast two shadows, and when the suns passed in front of one another, it would get darker, and we would see a single shadow. Now there's one more thing that needs to be discussed. See, all of this has been based on the assumption that Tatooine's orbital plane matches the orbital planes of its suns. So I've been explaining the angle of the suns in the sky based on latitude, but there's actually another way to explain this and keep all the Tatooine locales close to one another. If Tatooine's orbital inclination is severe, much of the time we could have something like a bird's eye view on the twin suns. And from the same point on the planet, we would see a multitude of different sun positions as the suns orbit one another and Tatooine orbits its suns. Things get way more complicated in this model, but hopefully this makes a little bit of sense. I went into this video just thinking that I would illustrate how much angle we should see between the shadows, but turns out this is actually a really fascinating topic. What are your thoughts? Do you have alternate models or ways to improve the ones I proposed? Let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.